Hello, this is Andy Ford Video, and today we're going to look at using fractal noise to create a transition for this ghost layer. We got this ghost on Avado Elements, and first of all, we'll add a solid to our composition and then apply the fractal noise effect. The effect is found under Effect, Noise and Grain, Fractal Noise. Now there are different fractal types and noise types that you can use. I think something that might look cool to make this ghost reveal work would be to try Smeary, and Soft Linear I think is fine. And now we really need to pump up the contrast, right? We need a bigger difference between the black and white areas. Might even go a little more. And now we need to set keyframes for our brightness. So at the beginning of our composition, we'll set a keyframe for brightness and we need to turn the brightness down so that nothing is visible. The screen is completely black. And then when we want the ghost to be fully visible, let's say at one and a half seconds, we'll set another keyframe where the screen is completely white. And so when the screen is black, the ghost won't be visible at all. And when it's white, it will be completely visible. So our reveal will take place over the one and a half seconds. So now we can select our ghost layer and change the track mat. We will select luma mat. And now if you play the composition, you see the ghost being revealed by the change in fractal noise. And that's all well and good, but we can enhance this a little bit. First of all, maybe we can add a little movement to the ghost. So we can open up our position property, make an expression, and let's use the wiggle expression. In the parentheses, go your frequency and amplitude. And now we have a ghost that looks like it is hovering. And remember, we can also apply changes to our fractal noise. So we could add some evolution. So set keyframes for evolution. And something else you can do is go into your transform properties and change the offset turbulence. Give our fractal some movement. Of course, you can change any of these properties and see what they do. And in fact, you can change the fractal type and noise type to get different appearances as well. You can see just by adding a little bit of the movement to the fractal and a little movement to the ghost, this already looks much better than it did when we first started. And of course, you can add this transition to anything like text. And it's just another way to add an interesting transition other than the typical wipes or fades that you may be using. So be sure to subscribe and thank you.